So a strong start, essential for both teams here as they look to head towards the knockout stage. Well, Peter, both of these teams will take to the pitch with a three-point focus. Ambition is fresh and strong, and each will want to go deep into the competition, so neither will be looking to come out of this with a, a flawed game plan. This has to be assured and close to their best. business here. Jim, you've played in games of this nature. Who can make the difference? Well, I really like the look of this fella, Jeremy Pino, Peter, who definitely has that sense of, of street smartness about him. Header! Good delivery, but no joy. Well, plenty of moving targets to pick out in the box. Obviously increases the chances of the ball being met like that by someone. was taken in the circumstances the correct execution wasn't succumbs to the pressure calmly anticipates well the run has been sold a little bit short there Ah, quality deserted them when they really needed it. Gerard Moreno. Cochran. Oh, that's a key interception. start at least from one side's perspective yeah whether they've been allowed to set the standards or not they're setting them and a goal has to follow Jeremy Pino and he cuts out the supply it's good movement we're getting from that front line, very flexible. Yeah, really easy on the eye too, yeah? Very much so. It adds more variety to their attack and, and asks more questions of, of that defence. Cat and mouse at its best. He's through and this looks dangerous! Oh, good spread. Really good play on the right, he's driving forward. Back when it goes. Well, some are shouting for a corner, but the referee says goal kick. So it is still nil-nil. Gerard Moreno, Coquelin, and the finish! Goal! Not a defender in sight, he had all the time in the world. Yeah, I really can't say enough as to how good the final ball was. It took the defence out of the equation for that split moment, and the damage was all done. It's 
And that ought to be the trigger for a really exciting and entertaining game from here on. Played back to the goalkeeper. Raul Albiol. Out to the left it goes. Oh, easy pickings there. Good defending, albeit from an unexpected source. Ah, oh, he's dealt with that very well, Peter. It's a, a real show of discipline. Capu. Gerard Moreno. It looks very much like they'd be happy to settle for this narrow lead at the break. Pino! Oh, the ball's run loose here. Oh, lovely Fidi is such a good mover. Pinches it off him. Jeremy Pino. to see that in shots of goal when there's a, a noticeable effort to get over the ball and, and keep it down. <laughs> Panathinaikos ran themselves into the proverbial cul-de-sac there. Gerard Moreno. It's anyone's ball now. And he's heaved it away. Parejo. Parejo crosses it in. And we hit half time. Steady, solid. And for now, where they want to be. Just one goal, and they have it. Good effort from both sides. But at half time, it is 1 0. What have we learned from the first 45 minutes? Well, I think the scoreline offers a fair reflection of the level of endeavour from both teams. I think they lead because they did most of the probing. A little more penetration, I think, should help them get the job done. Leading 1-0 at the break. And we're off again. Well, it's been tight, Peter, but I'm expecting things to, to open up now and we get some free-flowing football. Parejo, played for Capu, and he's straight offside. Arau. Out to the right. Now then, the ball's come loose. Kapu did well to step in there. That was more than necessary. Tino. Just the goal. There's the hit. Oh, he's really drilled it. Look, they don't come much better in terms of ball striking. It deserved a better result than that. Well, the boss won't be happy about that at all. They were pedestrian in possession and carried almost no threat at all. Looking for options for move. Chance! He scores! They have grabbed themselves an equaliser. Panathinaikos clearly executed that with considerable confidence. It only took seconds to score once the ball was recovered.
That has certainly made things interesting. It's pulsating, it's absorbing, and it's hugely entertaining. Every single player is giving everything. Well, that's been one straight back. Oh, super ball. Oh, good ball, shots on here. Hoisted upfield by the keeper. It's pretty clear that he's being singled out. Look, if they want to shut down the threat, he's a very good place to start. Gets his pass away. No messing about, just bludgeoned away. Final checks on the touchline. A change about to occur. So we have a breakthrough, now how will things develop from here? That has been cut short. He's a sharp little ball here. He's got to be it! Tony de Vilhena! Jonathan Aikos showing a little more urgency now, and to be honest, Peter, this is what's required. This is a really front-footed approach. Well, the question now is whether they can sustain it. Uh, that's been intercepted. Raul Albiol. Pedraza. Solot. Pedraza. No way through, so back it comes. Oh, great, big chance! A real chance and a real let-off. Well, that's why we all say indecision is fatal. Time for a change of personnel. Well, his stamina was called into question then, but there's absolutely nothing wrong with his heart and, and the efforts he put in. He was very willing, though, not quite able. Jonathan Aikos really are showing all the necessary urgency, but it's potency they need. He's left his man. Jonathan Aikos need to give it everything they have, kitchen sink included. Fiddles it through. Jonathan Aikos have a simple task to find something sustained now and keep the pressure on. Interesting ball. He's found the way through. No, he's not getting his way this time. That's a mighty looking ball, that. Now it's Sherrod Moreno. Now it's Solot. Solot.
miss some activity down on the touchline. It seems there's got to be a change. Well, for me, this was the obvious substitution. He'd become just a little jaded, and... And the referee brings it to a close.